In Temp Connect, creating a custom configuration. You may recall from previous videos that there are pre-configured logger configurations included in both the Intemp Connect web product and also in the Intemp app. Here we're going to show you how to create a custom configuration in Intemp Connect and push that down to your device so that can be loaded into your data logger. The first thing you need to do is log into your Intemp Connect account on your browser on your computer or on your tablet uh, and I'm going to log in with my credentials here and this takes us into the devices page so again this the top of the page is all about searching on different criteria but if we scroll down we can see here are all my data files that I've offloaded um, and if there were other loggers they would be included here too um, again those get pushed up to the cloud from your device your smartphone or your tablet what I want to do is click on settings and then click on configuration profiles and here are those standard configurations you can see there are four available these are default configurations so you can see again we have four for the CX400 ambient storage uh, CDC or VFC clinical refrigerator freezer refrigerator and then there are three for the CX500 product and you can copy these you can disable them we want to create a new configuration so we're gonna click on add configuration and here we can give it a name we're just gonna call it custom configuration and I've done this before so it's already in here um, we're gonna enable it we're gonna select what family this is going to we're going talking to CX 400s right now this is we're gonna set what our logging interval should be this is how often the data logger takes a measurement of the temperature and records it to his memory I'm gonna set it to a one minute logging interval and the maximum is once every 18 hours you can have it start immediately start at the next one minute interval start on a physical button push of the actual data logger there's a couple of buttons on there you can have it start after a specific time has elapsed or on a specific time and date. We're going to start now. Uh, we don't care about any daily checks but we can configure once daily or twice daily checks and those will be recorded in the report uh, if they're enabled. Here we can put in a high alarm or a low alarm if we wish. For example if we want to get uh, if we want the device to beep at us if it goes above 20 degrees C we can put that in here. How we want the alarm to uh, trip after a certain number of either cumulative or consecutive samples here this is an immediate alarm we'll leave that alone and this is we can select to create an audible alarm on the logger again the logger is going to beep at us if it goes above that so if we click on save it will save this configuration we can see it's shaded in white and here it is now it's in our configuration uh, listed as a configuration the next time we log into our Intemp app on our smartphone or tablet and we go to configure a logger that's not logging this will be the first configuration that we see so now if we go back to our smartphone or tablet and we log into our Intemp Connect account again making sure that we have I am an Intemp Connect user checked off and that our login credentials are the same as our Intemp Connect account we'll see a list of the available loggers there's our data logger we'll tap on that to connect to it now that we're connected to it we're going to tap on configure because the logger is stopped so we want to make sure and we want to load this configuration that we just created the custom configuration so if we tap on configure the very first configuration now that we see is the custom configuration that we created in the Intemp connect account and push down to our tablet or smartphone and we would tap on start here on the screen and it will load this configuration into the data logger and the data logger will begin logging. 